Hey, welcome back to Tech Brew. Now, I did tell you guys that I was going to go more into the AI features uh, as well as the new Bing integration and how it can actually pull up real time information. I'm going to be putting out much more information about this, but I just want you guys to see a real snapshot of how this really works. I am in Wisconsin, Milwaukee, one of the most beautiful places on earth. Uh, and, um, you know, I was test driving the new Bing uh, search on the Meta Ray-Ban glasses. So let's go ahead and get into that. Let's show you how to get into the app. Let's show you what the app looks like, where your photos would be, your settings, and where the AI system would display uh, your questions, responses, and anything that is recorded on the glasses. Let's check it out. Today, I'm going to show you a few things with the Meta Ray-Bans. Uh, this here is the interface for the Meta app. This is the MetaView app, just showing you how everything looks. Uh, I did get early access to the multimodal capabilities, and I'm, I guess I'm being made aware that everybody does not have this access. So as you can see, there is your settings. Here's your settings with all your voice controls, updates, everything you need to do to change anything in the app. Um, this is where I was able to see the early access program. Uh, this is how I learned more about the early access program, how it works, what it does, how to use it, and etc. Uh, if you look here, you can take a photo and um, ask within 15 seconds about the photo. That's really how you use the multimodal capabilities. Uh, but like I said, I can't wait for everybody else to get them so they can enjoy them. But the biggest thing we're here for, Bing and Meta has joined together. And what I mean by join together, they've come together as alliance to bring their search and possible AI capabilities to Meta's hardware. Obviously we know Meta is in competition with Apple when it comes down to hardware, VR, and AR technology. So keep paying attention to that competition. I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the task at hand, explaining how these glasses work. This is just some of the video, so I can already tell you the update has made much better video quality. First things first, the pressure test that I did originally was asked where the nearest pet store was, and it was Petco. And I was able to verify that through Bing and actually by being right there in the area. So I took a photo for you guys. I also asked about Target. And as you can see, Target is kind of all in the same shopping center. So now that I know it knows location services, I'm gonna figure out if it knows about the Super Bowl tickets. So it did tell me Ticketmaster had them for 6,500. Look at this, look at this, 6,500 on the dot. So it's pretty accurate. Let's keep going. What about the integration with Bing and how can you use that? It pretty much gives me its own explanation for that. Clearly, it says Microsoft's integration with Bing allows users to access up-to-date information directly to their glasses, performing hands-free search. Hands-free search, people. All right, and then up next, I asked if I wanted to further protect my LLC, what would I do? And it just pretty much told me a lot of general information, but it also made it sure to say maintaining financial separation from personal assets and seeking personal and professional help, which is kind of a good response. I like that. All right, so at this period of time, I'm testing just the capabilities of being searched. I'm asking about what's the latest updates in Ukraine, and this is what it gave me. All right, and pretty much saying that, it, you know, Western support is waning. There's even reports saying that Zelensky has been doing some scandalous stuff with money that's been sent to him. So we're not gonna talk too much about that, but it does show straight up to date information. And if you notice, there's a Bing link that doesn't take you directly to the article, but will take you to a search that is the, the exact thing that you asked for. All right, right here is when we start getting to the sports betting questions. I said, judging from the Bucks' last four game scores, will it be a good money line bet for today? Now, it, it didn't get my dictation right because it said first instead of four. And it just pretty much told me that it will not give me any gambling related results. But as I said in a previous video, if you can prompt correctly in an educational way, you can get these uh, large language models to give you answers that you want. It may be hallucinating, but you are still getting an answer from their opinion or its opinion. 
All right, I start asking about the Milwaukee Bucks, and it did give me a spread information for that specific game, but it wouldn't give me money line or any other bets. Start asking about the Golden State Warriors winning record. It did not give that information correct. Now, I am not at the point where I like sitting back and watching all the negative Nancy shit on news nowadays, but I found out I can just ask the question about any news going on in my local town, and it just gives you the top stories. For example, I asked, what is today's news? And they told me a damn school bus crashed into a building. Guess what I did? I went online and searched that information. And lo and behold, an hour ago, a school bus crashed into a building. So very accurate. All right. So I asked, uh, is there any Milwaukee stories from today that are positive? It responded, the most recent positive news from Milwaukee includes opening a new recovering housing facility for individuals struggling with addiction. Additionally, there are a call for black men to serve in Milwaukee classrooms as teachers. Um, Obviously, I did my research on that and all of that was true. That was published by the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. So these things are really up to date and it's actually giving you factual information from search all right let's talk about baseball i asked when does the milwaukee brewer season start it said the milwaukee brewer season starts march 28 2023 and i automatically knew something wasn't up i said season opener for 2024 it said milwaukee brewer season opener is march 28th 2024 and look I, i i got that one on google so Information is still correct. Once again, ding, ding, ding. I would say these are also really good if you're on the go and you need to get some financial data or stats or anything that's statistical that can be found online. Uh, I I believe these can be trusted if you're using Bing search and you trust Bing search because a lot of this data is matching up. So once again, I have to give credit where it is due. The first pair of sunglasses with the internet built into them. Where are you gonna get the sleekness, the wide camera view, the sharpness and then pretty much having chat GPT on your face. I wait. Now, one thing I can say is that it's been pretty accurate and that I can't wait to use it for more use cases. I'm pretty sure if this is the beginning, just imagine 10 years from now, what type of um, technology the wearable uh, hardware will be having. So we'll, we'll be seeing a lot of different crazy stuff you got to remember this is the first and second generation this is first and second generation we're we're, we have a lot to go and if you're starting to learn this stuff now that puts you in better position and to be able to teach the next generation how it all works or uh to create and innovate yourself but if it's all about having a better life and creating a better life through technology let's keep doing it together like subscribe and share cheers